everyone, welcome back to Undertale. In the last episode, we left off at fighting Metaton in his true form, or strange form. So we're just gonna head right back in and hopefully actually go for it. Alright, come on, Metaton. Skip. Why the heck would I want to do dialogue all over again? Glassy looking man. Alright, pose! Hell yes. Okay. Pose again. Okay. Easy. Okay. Pose one more time. Damn it. Survived. Um... a unicycle. Ooh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. Okay, all right. Uh, essay prom, what do you love most about Metaton? Looks. Beautiful sometimes. The fewest words speak the loudest. Hey! All right, thank you. Bandana. Equipped! Hell freaking yes! Damn you! Justice. Pose. Come on, play those arms. What the hell? Give me junk food. Oh gosh! Oh. oh. <laughs> Nobody likes a boast. No. I have to back up and hit the junk burger. Okay, boast. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Hit me with the attack. Fuck. I need that plus 100. Yes, I can protect humanity. Oh, no, please stop. 
You have to be tired now. Please stop. Cut it out. Stop it. I don't like this. I'm getting molested. I don't think I'm supposed to hit the heart. I'm posing again. Alright, we're gonna boast again. No! Damn it! Oh! Boasting. Timing sucks ass. Boast again. Oh, oh. Junk food. Oh, shit. Ah! Hey, who, 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 who needs it? Who needs it? Fuck you. Son of a bitch. So There's an attack I don't need to be losing to. Come on. me asshole I did fuck you that is not what I wanted to answer with Screw you. Junk fruit, please. I'm hitting that heart. No. Come on. I need to rip those arms off. Didn't need those, did you? Pose again. Okay, just need to survive this one. Uh. Damn. Okay. Back to the junk food. How close am I? No, I need to take those legs off first. Hitting you with a boast. Perfect, survived. Okay, give me the uh, give me the junk food. Come on, we're almost there. Okay, okay. Horrible. 
<laughs> and are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? actually win. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call-in milestone. One lucky viewer will have you have the chance to talk to me before I leave for, th for the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. All right, who's calling in? Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, sh our last show? Oh, hi, Medicine. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Medicine. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait! Wait! Bleh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller! Metaton, your show made us so happy! Metaton, I don't want to know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in the Metaton shaped heart. Ah, uh, I, I see. Everyone, thank you so much! Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be a very strong, perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption. Inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery. Power. And, well, I'll be all right. Knock em dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. <sighs> Metaton, thank you. Love, Metaton. I, I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my gosh! Metaton! Metaton! Are, are you... I cannot keep my voices straight. Thank God. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know. He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always ju just build another... Why don't you go on ahead? I will, but the first... Okay, I am going ahead. Is there like a... Save point? S sorry about that. L let let's keep going. Yeah, don't sneak up behind me. I get very shy. 
So, so, are you about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be, you, you must be pretty excited about it, all that, huh? Because <laughs> it means end game, and I can finally finish this. Because y you'll f f finally, you'll finally get to go home. Ugh. Will you shut up? Oh, wait. I, I mean, um, I, I was just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. Okay, so this is the guy I'm supposed to kill. I'm sorry. No problemo. If I have to rip someone's soul out to get home, I will. Because by golly, I want to be home for game night. I need to play some Minecraft. What an obnoxiously long elevator. Ah. The glorious save point, yes. Another elevator. Hmm. Well, I should probably... Oh, which way is... Let's check out this direction. Now, I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. So, I am assuming this is the secret way. Or the elevator is in use. Okay, it's in use. Never mind. I cannot use it. Ah, uh, what a beautiful monster world this is. Very dull, boring, and dark, and dank. And I don't like it. And I sure as hell don't want to live here. It's really a long walk. Oh, another safe point. What a familiar looking house. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Headset wasn't bugged, I wouldn't have to do this crap again. Box is empty.
with the human soul. Cross through the barrier. Suddenly, screams ring out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But... Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king around the king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Uh, do I use the elevator or Ooh, safe point? Wait, what is this? Hello? Hmm. What beautiful golden halls. Ah! Isn't that sands? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future for the, of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What is XP? Experience? It's an acronym. And it stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love. Two is an acronym. It stands for a level of violence. Well, this is one hell of an acronym. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. 
Oh, Sans! But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles of hardship you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. Damn right I did. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Perfect sense. Love acronym? Love word? Two completely different things. Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far to, by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Well, my mama always counted on the right thing. And that was me making horrible decisions. All right, let's see where this elevator leads to. I'm hoping a shop. No shop. Okay, looks like we're going in. <laughs> uh... Stained apron. Armor defense 11. Heals 1 HP every other turn. Okay. Heart Locket. Heart Locket. Armor Defense 15. It says Best Friends Forever. Worn Dagger. Worn Dagger. Weapon Attack 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. Okay. We're all in. Good evening, Asgore. <laughs> I've come to get the fuck out of here. Dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I am almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Hello, Asgore. <laughs> Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do, when you are ready, come into the next room. Must distract my heart. Well, let me take a swig of water. I'm ready. 
Let's get this shit over with. It's a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. So, any healing items? <laughs> How tense. Just think of, like, think of it like a visit to the dentist. I hate the dentist. Fuck the dentist. This is like where I came in. Are you ready? If you're, you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. What are you gonna do? Touch me? Well, holy shit. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Now let's give this shit a shot. <laughs> I see. This is it then. Ready? All right. Bring it on. Yowled coop. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Give me your best shit. All right. What? Ninety. Um, Asgore? Okay, let's try... Oh no. Oh, crap. I'm out of items. Status. Okay, so... Equip use. That one's equipped now. So I can do attack like that. 15 next. And a manly bandana. Item is a stained apron. Alright, let's save. Go for round two. <laughs> Bring it. Hundred and ten. Hundred twenty five. Let's go. Seems awful random. Give me an item. Ah. Uh. T. 
talking lowers his stats. I'm not gonna make it through this next one. 123! Oh, that's the you must move move. Okay. 125! Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. No. No. I I need potions and stuff. Jeez. Okay. We'll walk all the way back. They couldn't put a store vendor up here? Next to the king? What if he wants one of those glam burgers? Hmm? Hmm? I feel like the apron's gonna be a much more useful item. We'll use the elevator over here. It's taking the shape of Metaton's face. Don't ask, please. Well, I don't need to heal that much. I might get better deals if I go to the cats in the back alley, eh? Let's see what we got going on in the alley. You'll pay a thousand gold if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Ugh, the junk food though. Bullets not included. Burger pants, new. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, caddy. Don't you have any standards? Nope. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's our fault the he acts that way. Like when we asked him to get those glam burgers. He dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were like going to share them. Really, I wasn't. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Ugh. Okay, so... Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna... What does this elevator do? That's a horrible policy.
Nope, don't want that. What the heck? Metaton looked really cool in that dress. Sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. That's just creepy, man. There you are. Okay, get me to the damn town. Snowden. Yes, I shall be here. There's the chest. Okay, let's skip this. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, birdie. Get me over there. No freaking yes. Thank you, thank you. What a fantastic little ducky you are. I love you. And anyone who says you're a terrible duck can die. Papyrus! Oh! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with the Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! I guess we're doing this now. Will you hang out? Of course! Okay! Stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this! She love th loves these! Papyrus, ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Wait, what? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two... Come in! Oh, yeah, she tried to kill me! Here, Undyne! My friends brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom! You have a... You, you two have fun! <coughs> I don't think that's the restroom. So why are you here? 
Throw up your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Got news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll become too so enamored with me. You'll be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. Foo ha ha ha! It's the perfect revenge. Er, why don't you have a seat? Well, let's see. I can't believe he le leapt through the window like that. Normally the nails... Normally he nails the landing. Okay, so this is normal. One time Alpheus, uh, friend... Friend? Came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. How dare you, I'm offended. Well, maybe some nerds. Ooh. You're being kind of creepy. Let me see the room. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer? Yes. Damn it! What the f Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. This oven is some kind of top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food. Home cooked with fire magic. I don't think that's home cooked. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks and spoons and knives. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Everything you need for your, uh. utensils, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already seen this. Okay. I hate cold food. Sophia's fixed up my fridge, so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! So how do you keep your meat from getting all old? Humans stuck, but... Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Uh, yeah. Right? Of course. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So, me and Alpheus built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at, my, at the table? Of course. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? What the f- Hey, don't get up! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, just, just wanted to day Yeah. You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um... Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Um, 
sugar goes in tea. So does sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay, it's all done. Is it sweet tea? Here we are. I'm a southerner. I need my sweet tea. Careful, it's hot. Uh, okay. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Oh, I got tea out of this. I'm quite happy. I feel bad for earlier. Please forgive. I just don't want to end up like this table. And I'm terrified. Hey! You know it's kind of strange you chose that tea? Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot, hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis, I tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you know what? Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and I'm one of the head of the royal. I'm the head of the royal guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight, like a uh, papyrus. And I can see that it's not working. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him that I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. Why would you say smiling? That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, and eh, you know. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. How thoughtful. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a, a second. Papyrus? His cooking lesson? You're supposed to have that right now! And he's not here to have it! You'll have to have it. For him. Wait, what? Uh, uh. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that, if I give you his his lesson, we'll become closer than even you can imagine. Cannot read for the life of me. 
afraid? We're gonna be best of friends. I I don't feel like this is how friends. Oh God. Please don't. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists. Oh. Uh, how will you pound? I am strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Our hearts are united. You're uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. This is one hell of a cooking lesson. Um. Oh well. Just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them into the pot. Right. Fiercely. Throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. <laughs> it clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. I don't think that's how it goes. Ready? Let's do it! Uh, press E repeatedly to stir. Stir harder! Harder! Okay. That's the stuff! You destroyed your pot, man! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Uh, got it. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. I, I don't think this is what we should do. Uh, it, it, what are you doing? Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready, don't hold anything back. Uh, uh, uh hold right. Uh, just come on. Hotter. Like the magma in Earth's crust. Hotter than the sun. Oh gosh. Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Your house is on fire. I was just following your instructions. So what's next? Scrapbooking? I don't want to know how the hell you scrap book friendship bracelets I'm pretty sure you're just gonna cut my wrist off oh who am I kidding I really screwed this up didn't I I can't force you to like me human some people just don't get along with each other I understand if you feel that way about me and if we can't be friends that's okay because if we're not friends it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh, gosh. Wait. Uh. 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 uh um. It, a joke. One fun. I, 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 don't, I don't. Please, no. I can regain my lost pride, ma'am. Hey, 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 let's calm down here. I can fix your kitchen. Let's just calm down. Uh, 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 uh. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster in a, any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated you stupid... 
words. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. I'm insulted and flattered at the same time. I am now confused. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Well, I mean... I guess. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Sorry about your house, ma'am. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop me, drop by uh, in Snowden today, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. This guy has defeated the last boss tonight, but that didn't happen. I should probably take my time here. So next episode, get everything set up, all the supplies I need. And I'll be able to finally defeat the bastard. Anyway, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.